What up, and welcome to our first Telenor, where if you got something to say, you better say it with your chest. She's like, I can see this. <laughs> <way>. <laughs> That's all steak and like cheese pie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sight that makes every Pacific sister roll her eyes. Yep, a brown brother with milk chocolate chica on his arm. Do Pacifica men prefer milky bar over dark coco? Is it just the boys, or are the girls in on it too? Today, we're talking jungle fever. Is it Caucasity? or audacity. I'm not too sure if we can still see yeah, Jungle really Fever. Nervous. I feel <laughs> nervous seeing Jungle Fever, you know what I mean? But anyway, I still think it's definitely a thing. I have to share a story, eh? Go, go ahead, hey. tell us. So I'm a product of a Samoan dad and a, um, a Croatian Kiwi mum. And so like I grew up with hearing the stories of how um, my mum and dad got together. And so my dad would always say, son, it's like when you go to school and you eat lunch, it's like you have an apple every day. The apple's nice, it's sweet. And then one day someone gives you an orange. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story, they're not together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that apple. And the, the funny thing is, I never had a bilingual girlfriend, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like... I'm a little like, Nick, I had a, um... I had, I still have parents. <laughs> um, and my dad's Tongan and my mum's white. So their union at their time was not always appreciated. My dad, who was Tongan, his father flew to New Zealand because my dad knocked my mum up the first time. Oh. So they had a beautiful marriage and then my dad went back to work that day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that white women fetishise brown men? Ooh. Look, I... I've been living overseas, and I, like, over there, they, they love a brown man. I think they're fascinated by Pacific Islanders and um, Maldives. Yeah. I found that too, in the UK, like... Oh, everyone was up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just, you, you can sense when there's a genuine, like, I want to know who you are, yeah, not, right. not what you are. Like, when you're exoticised, if that makes sense, like, I'd sense that. Yeah. And you kind of, it's, it's almost like makes you feel a bit weird. Okay, what about the other way around? Have you had experiences being fetishised by white men? I've been with my partner for a really long time, so I don't even remember. But I, I had a white boyfriend in, in high school, and I can honestly say, just for me, going forward, if my husband disappeared off the face of the earth, I just, I'm not attracted to white men. Don't you look at me like that. You can say that. I'm the boss of me. I, I'm just not. I don't know what it is. Like, I love everyone, but like, I'm not attracted. Yeah. As products of parents who um, intermarried, what would you say are the privileges that you have now because of that relationship? There's plenty of privileges, but then some of it as well, the, the generation of nowadays is. It's come about by almost necessity and also responsibility because from a Māori point of view, a lot of culture and stuff has been lost, a lot of language has been lost. And so it's almost like, uh, not that this is something that you look for, but yeah, I'm attracted to another Māori Pacific Island person because I want to make that culture stronger. Right. Uh, you know, and I want to give my children that opportunity to grow in that culture uh, at a certain level where our parents didn't necessarily have to do that because they were already immersed in the culture already. When I think about how I was raised, there was aspects to different parts of their parenting that like they had to come together and compliment. Right, yeah, and like yeah. so my dad was a very reserved person. My mum encouraged us to speak up and talk a lot. If it wasn't for my mum's input into my dad going, hey we've gotta we've gotta let the kids know that they can talk to us about anything mm -hmm. where my dad would probably traditionally have said, nah, dealing with those issues of sexuality and yeah. And a lot of those issues that, you know, I'm generalising here, but traditionally maybe aren't spoken about. Yeah, yeah. So there's beautiful parts to it. Crap, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, that Why don't you say one. that at the beginning? Yeah, we would be first by now. <laughs> <laughs>